lots of caramel. It's like a tonics caramel wafer, six million sold in the United Kingdom each week. I love tonics caramel wafers. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of A Beer With Bob. Great to have you in my living room today for this episode that's titled Drinking in the Sunshine on Leaf. Yes, that's right. We are venturing over Hadrian's Wall into the land of a brave heart, tasting a true Scottish beer. We are tasting the Cross Borders Breweries Heavy. Pronounced heavy. This is a modern take on a Scottish classic. The can, the brownie red, just as the beer will be. And if you notice the number there, the 80 on there, that's denoting it's an 80 shilling beer, meaning it's of an export strength. And at 4.1% ABV, that's certainly correct. The shilling system is a 19th century uh, Scottish taxation system for the malt and barley that was used within the, the brewing process and how they paid tax on it. Uh, it's still used in Scotland. So let's open up this beer, shall we? It says on the sign it's micro brewed in Midlothian, just outside of Edinburgh, and it's the saying that we should be expecting malts, caramel, and smoothness. So let's see if that's true, shall we? Oh, there's a little bit of foam exuding from the top of the can there. I love it when a can cracks. Excites me still to this day, and I've opened many a can. So let's pour it into our glass. Remember when we're pouring people, a beer with no head is dead. Now this is certainly lively, so this beer is definitely not dead. Whoa, look at that. I hardly poured that, and it's gushed out with a big, thick head on that yellowy tinge there looks like it's been smoking in a govern pub there for quite some time the look of it some carbonation it's a deep murky brownie red just like the can suggests it's really caramelly in its color deep deep reds okay let's give it a smell oh there is a maltiness to that malt loaf i'm thinking Lots of caramel. It's like a tonics caramel wafer, six million sold in the United Kingdom each week. I love tonics caramel wafers. They are a Scottish classic as well. There is some nuttiness there as well. It's, well, I think it smells a bit like Coke, you know, Coke or Dr. Pepper. There's some red fruits in the background, perhaps. Maybe that burnt caramel as well. Let's taste it, shall we? Look at that. It's a lovely colour. Ooh. 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 Yeah, it is malty again, malty. There is a nutty flavour to it, and with the nuts, there's almost an oily mouth feels coming from the nuts as well. There is a sweetness like a toffee, uh, maybe like the Scottish uh, confectionery tablet. Have anyone ever had tablets? In it's incredibly sweet. Uh, caramelly fudginess. It's really, really sweet though, the uh, tablet in Scotland. I had it whilst uh, working up in Edinburgh last year. It is malty and sweet and smooth and caramelly, but then there's a hoppy feel to it. And it's that hoppiness that's refreshing your palate somewhat. It's really making it very drinkable. And then it ends with a dryness, almost a biscuit dry towards the back. And that's nice. Uh, it's a really drinkable, sessionable beer, you know. 
fan dabby dozy, my one might say. Mm. I could sit here in a string vest with a headband on, supping this for a, on a good number of these, you know, actually getting quite pished, perhaps. It is a lovely beer, this. I perhaps would walk 500 miles for it, but I probably wouldn't walk 500 more for it. So I'm gonna say that the Cross Borders Heavy, or Cross Borders Heavy, is a four bob beer. That's right, Cross Borders Heavy is a four bob beer. Until next time, people, Stay safe, stay inside, and keep drinking.